a one chunk? Oh, uh, wait, Dash? <laughs> wait, what are you guys doing and, here? Uh, wait a second, who are you guys? Uh, Greetings, everyone. And, uh, what, Kane, did you bring us here? I did indeed, and you guys are currently surrounded by 8,000 metric tons of TNT. Uh, what in the oh, world? Uh, you have 10 minutes to defend yourselves before all of it explodes, and if you fail, you will blow up. Oh, Best of luck. And, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Well, uh, you guys heard him. Uh, here, let's start getting some materials. We got to start defending this one chunk. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. What are you guys even doing here? I don't know. I just appeared here. Yeah, I don't know either, man. I was walking here, and then I got teleported here. And wait, 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 wait. Who are you guys again? Well, I'm Pomni. I'm Baby Pomni. Yeah, uh, this is my family. What in the world? What is the entire Pomni family doing here? But anyways, we should probably get back to building. I wanted to see how the Pomni family would fare against a one chunk. It's my latest adventure. And uh, what, what am I doing here, then? Oh, you're just a control subject. And what? Oh my gosh. Alright, well, but here, let's just start building this house. I don't know how much time we have left. Um, and oh gosh, wait, guys, we should probably get some stone. That's probably gonna be stronger than wood. Well, how much stone do you think we're gonna need? And, uh, I don't know. We're probably gonna need a lot, but, uh, wait, I wasted all my wood on this house. I need to pick some of this up again so I can craft a pickaxe. I have some wood. I have some wood. And, oh, you do? Perfect. Thank you very much. And here, let me hop into the crafting table really quick and craft myself a wooden pickaxe. Boom! There we go. And now we can start mining this stone. This stone should be a much stronger defense against the TNT. I'm gonna plant this sapling just so we don't run out of wood. And oh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. But here, guys, let's just all focus on getting this stone. And wait, actually, hold on. Let me go ahead and upgrade my pickaxe into a stone one so that I can mine even faster. I want a stone pickaxe. Can I have one? And oh, yeah, I got you here. I just need to mine one more wood so that I can craft some more sticks. So let me grab that and let me craft some more sticks. And boom, there we go. Another stone pickaxe. Here you go. Yay! But guys, this is going to take forever. No matter how much stone we get, I don't think it's going to survive against that TNT. And oh, gosh, yeah, you're right. Those TNTs were pretty big. Let me take a look at them again. Let me just mine out over here and oh, gosh, yeah, those things are massive. Oh, yeah. I don't know. What do we do, guys? If stone's all we have, how are we going to defend ourselves? Guys, what's this? And wait, what What'd you find? Where are you? Ah, baby Pomni, what are you doing down there? You're going to get hurt. I'm in a hole. And wait, 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 wait. What? There's just a hole in the chunk over here? What is this? Wait, what is this? Hold on. And yeah, wait, hold on. We should probably check this place out. And wait, guys, check it out. Look, there's a chest. What are you guys doing? Uh I guess I'll come What's along. What's in the chest? What's in I don't know. I guess let's check it out. And whoa, wait, what? a creative switcher? Wait, what the heck is this? Wait, 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 guys. I'm pretty sure this item lets us turn into creative mode. Uh, let me go ahead and grab it really quick. So uh, here, I guess let me go ahead and try using it really quick. And whoa, wait, guys, it actually worked. I'm in creative mode now. Oh my gosh, we have so many blogs. Yeah, look, it set us to creative mode too. Whoa. whoa, let's go. Okay, this should make it much easier to build the house. Now we don't have to actually like mine stuff manually. So here, now let's get this house actually started. Um, hmm, what should we build it out of? Uh, I don't know, maybe something a little bit stronger, like some obsidian or something. Something that won't blow up. And yeah, obsidian sounds like a good idea. Here, let's go ahead and grab a bunch of obsidian. And here, let's just go ahead and put it all around this chunk. Oh, I see you guys found the creative mode switcher that I left for you guys. But don't worry, you'll be in survival whenever the TNT is about to explode. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. How much time do we have left? I think you have like seven minutes left. Seven. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Uh, guys, we got to get back to building. All right, here, let's go ahead and finish up these walls. Well, why are you placing everything by hand? We literally have commands. And, oh, yeah, you're right. We can just use world edit. Um, Okay, well, here, everyone, let's go ahead and grab a wand. And this is going to make building so much faster. Up uh, Here, let's go ahead and clear out all of the stuff inside of here because uh, this doesn't look very safe. Boom, there we go. Now it is all obsidian. Uh oh, oh, we should put water on the walls. Whoa, okay, that actually sounds like a banger idea because water is gonna, like, stop the blast. So, uh, here, let's go ahead and grab a bunch of water buckets and just put it all around the wall. This is gonna be so OP. But wait, uh, that's gonna make the chunk look horrible. Why don't we just use dispensers to toggle it? And, oh, oh, yeah, actually, I guess we can do that. Uh, here, let me go ahead and slash slash drain all of this over here really quick. Boom, there we go. And, yeah, okay, I guess we can have dispensers around here. Wee, this is so much fun. And, yep, we can toggle all of the dispensers with one flick of a button, but, anyway, Anyways, here, let's go ahead and continue putting all these dispensers all around the walls. Uh, be careful, baby Pomni. It's just water. It's safe. Yeah, but wait, baby Pomni, I don't think we should be putting levers on top of each one of the dispensers. That's going to take way too long because we'll have to, like, flick each of them manually. Then what do we do? Well, what we can do is go ahead and grab some repeaters and some redstone. And pretty much what we can do is go ahead and put repeaters and redstone all around on top of the dispensers. Basically just connecting all of them. And then we can control all of them with one lever. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, yeah, that'll keep us safe. <sighs> but wait, isn't the rest all gonna, like, blow up because of the TNT? And, oh, gosh, yeah, that is a good point. Uh, well, maybe let's go ahead and surround it all with some obsidian. So here, we can just put some obsidian on the sides over here like this. And, yeah, this should protect it. Will this really protect the redstone? Hopefully, but anyways, here, let me go ahead and bring this redstone down all the way over here like this. Actually, wait, let me go ahead and grab some redstone torches and a lever really quick because we can make this look nicer. And here, let's just go ahead and put a redstone torch up over there like 
that and then another one down here and then using this lever we can go ahead and toggle it whenever we need to turn it on and off and wait i think it's all on right now and whoa check it out guys look at all this water whoa oh it's a waterfall wee wee ah oh, be careful splish splash splish splash and okay okay but wait a minute it looks like some of the dispensers up here didn't activate uh wait why is there still water coming out of them uh, i don't know this red zones are very complicated um oh, wait there we go it worked now oh there we go now they're all on in here now let's go ahead and try turning it off is this gonna work and wait but why are these ones still staying on uh okay we need to come up with a solution for this does this mean the tnt is gonna get us and uh what no it's literally extra water that we're trying to get rid of we should be fine it's just like making the house look nicer but anyways why is it still there i'm trying to get rid of this water okay let me try flicking this one more time the water better be gone when i look at it again and there we go it's gone see mom is okay Ooh, okay that's good i don't even know what the problem with that was but anyways now we should probably go ahead and continue covering all of this up with some obsidian just to be sure that none of it gets blown up in the blast oh, it's gonna be so dark inside though and oh yeah true you're right well uh in that case let's also go ahead and grab some of these redstone lamps and Ooh, wait i got a banger idea for where we can put them we can just put these redstone lamps all around the redstone just like this and wait what why doesn't the redstone power it uh, i have no clue i'm not the one to ask i don't know nothing about redstone can we put buttons on it and uh i guess we can put buttons on them but then you have to like hit the button every time you want to turn it on. What if we just move it one block down and... Oh, there we go. That works. We can just have, like, a whole ring of redstone lamps going around the entire roof of the building. Oh, wait. Like, some of them aren't turning on. Mm, I don't like the color here. I'm gonna put some carpet down. Carpet, carpet, carpet. And, oh, yeah. I guess we could use some carpet. That can make the inside look pretty nice. And, oh, wait, guys. We should also probably add a door. Uh, we don't really have one of those yet. Uh, wait, why would we need a door? We're trying to stay away from the D&D, &D, right? And, yeah, but, like, what if someone gets stuck outside and they, like, need to come inside or something? I don't know. Wait, that would be so scary. Well, they shouldn't be outside. It's, it's gonna be be fully in case. Well, yeah, but what if the blast is so strong that it somehow pushes someone outside through the roof or something? Well, they're gonna be in the void. They're not gonna be on, like, a platform or anything. Yeah, Bomney's always right. Yeah, let's just listen to Bomney. Okay, okay. I guess if you guys don't want a door, we don't have to have a door, but wait, I, I think I kind of messed up the water, and now only half of it is turning on. What the? What is going on here? Okay, uh, in fact, let me just go ahead and get rid of all these dispensers and place them back really quick. Uh, these carpets look a lot like cheese. Are you sure this is, uh, the color you wanted? Cheese! And, oh, yeah, our floor kind of looks like Swiss cheese. I'm calling the floor to look like mom. Uh, I look like cheese? Yeah, you look like cheese! Uh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> um, okay. This is not cheese. What are you talking about? I've never seen a yellow cheese before. I've only seen mozzarella, the white cheese, you know? I, I, what, are you like a pizza expert or something? Oh, uh, yeah, of course I am. Straight from Italy. You guys got a very interesting family, I will say. I mean, the floor's starting to kind of look like pizza now. What the? Okay, hold on. I need to check out what it looks like on the inside of the base in a moment. Let me just finish putting all these dispensers here. And okay, I think they are all fully placed down and set up. Okay, now let me test it out. And oh, yeah, the floor is kind of looking like pizza. It's more white for the mozzarella cheese. <laughs> And okay, dude. But anyways, I do here. I got to repair all this redstone since I just repaired all the dispensers. So let me go ahead and flick this over here. Boom. And now we can put this more redstone over here. Uh, do the more redstone. What the heck does that mean? Uh, don't worry about it. I, I'm not the best uh, with the grammar. Yeah, don't worry about uh, it. Uh, maybe you should go, you know, like learn a dictionary first. Dude, stop making fun of my words. But anyways, I'm pretty sure it all should be working now. So uh, wait, someone try flicking the lever real quick. I clicked it. And wait, wait, actually, hold on. You need to do it one more time to activate it. I clicked it again. And boom, there we go. Now all of the dispensers turned off. This looking sick. Uh, guys, when we flick the lever, all the lights inside go out. And oh, yeah, I guess it isn't really a smart idea to have all of the lights linked up to the dispensers. Okay, maybe we should move those. I, I guess we can move them up over here and we can just have them linked to the, like their own power source. Yeah, good idea. Why don't we just use some glowstone so we don't have to, you know, get a power source? And oh, yeah, yeah actually, that'd be a lot simpler. That way we don't have to power it with redstone or anything. So here, let me get rid of all these lamps over here and let's grab some glowstone. Uh, don't grab any, just use commands. And oh, oh, yeah, 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 you're right here. Let's select all of these positions. Boom. And oh, you got it. Let's go. This looking sick. Yay, bum -nee. Did it. Bomney did it. But wait a minute, guys. I still think we should have a door. Like, what if the base starts like collapsing or something from the TNT? Like, we need some sort of way to escape, right? Well, escape to where? The void? Well, what if we have an Elytra platform over here where we can use Elytras to like fly away if something happens? Wait, wait, that sounds fun. Bomney, can we have it? Oh, yeah, that could work. Uh, that actually sounds pretty interesting. Let's do it. And yeah, guys, here, let's go ahead and do it. Although, uh, if we're gonna actually build a door, then we need to have like a really strong door because I don't think an ordinary wood door is gonna cut it. Because it's just gonna get blown up instantly. Even I can break it. And yeah, exactly. We're gonna need something a lot stronger to defend against that giant TNT. So wait, guys, what about a, like a super strong piston door? Uh, yeah, but what could you move with pistons that's super strong? I, I know you can't move obsidian or bedrock. And wait, 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 hold on. I'm pretty sure you can move netherite blocks with pistons. Let me go ahead and grab a sticky piston really quick. And here, let's test this out. Let's see. Can we move the netherite block with a piston? Let's see. And oh, 
my gosh, check it out. It works. And pretty much netherite is blast proof. So this should be perfect. Oh yeah, this will be perfect. Uh, but I don't know any redstone. And oh, don't worry about it. I'm an expert at redstone. All we got to do is put the uh, pistons right over there like that. Just like this. Boom. And then we can go ahead and put these netherite blocks over here. And then uh, you guys just uh, repeat what I'm doing on this side, except uh, on that side. So the next thing we need to do is put some obsidian over here like this. And then we need to go ahead and connect everything up with some redstone just like this. There we go. And here, now let's go ahead and connect this redstone to both of the doors. So just like that. And now I'm pretty sure whenever we power it with this lever, the door should close. And uh, wait, I, I think you guys did something wrong on your side. What is this? No, there was carpet in the way and it moved it back. Wait, what? Uh, no, you're supposed to place it over here. Okay, there you go. Now it's working. And now we can go ahead and open and close the door. This looks sick. And this is actually perfect because it's all blast proof. Oh, uh, blast proof? Are you sure about that? We should test it out. And yeah, actually, that's a good idea. We should test it out. Uh, here, baby, pommy, I guess you want to go out there and uh, light some TNT. TNT, TNT, TNT. Uh, I don't know about this. And No, trust me. It should be fine. Here, let's just close the door. And all right, go for it, baby Pomni. TNT time. Let's go. And I'm going to light it now. Wait, that sounded like a lot more than just one TNT. Oh, gosh. Uh, yes, we don't <laughs> want to back off from this. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Um, well, at least the door survived, kind of. It worked. Guys, the, the door is blast proof, but not the things to open it. Wait, am I trapped out here? Well, um, hmm, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, how many TNT? did you like? I lit up six. What the? Okay, well, actually, fair enough. That's probably gonna be like a realistic test compared to that TNT, but hmm, what are we supposed to do out of this? Oh, I got an idea. What about these? The reinforced sticky pistons. And whoa, what the? Reinforced sticky pistons? Wait, hold on. Uh, can you drop those again? I kind of uh, lost them in my inventory. Oh my gosh, how do you lose the pistons? I'm sorry, I got a lot of garbage in my inventory, but wait, wait, hold on. We should probably test out if this thing is actually blast proof first. Uh, Baby Pomni, you wanna, you know, uh, to put some TNT around this? Yeah, give it the gabagool. My TNT! I'm waiting outside for this one. Let's do it. TNT time. All right, all right. Let's see. Will the piston survive? Here we go. And, oh my gosh, it worked. It survived. But the redstone didn't. And wait, hold on. Is there such thing as reinforced redstone? Is that a thing? And oh, it is not a thing, unfortunate. We have to protect the redstone. And yeah, we have to come up with a solution for protecting the redstone. But these pistons are going to be a great start. So here, let's go ahead and rebuild the door, except using these super strong pistons now. And let's also go ahead and put the netherite blocks here just like that. Boom. And let's connect the redstone like that. And wait, what? Did the door just close on baby Pomni? I got crushed by the door. Oh, are you okay? Oh gosh. Well, uh, we should probably add some pressure plates to make sure that that doesn't happen again. Let me go ahead and grab some stone pressure plates really quick. And we can just put some right over here like this. And also, wait, uh, what the, uh, oh, okay, hold on. We're, we're gonna have to make some adjustments to this. Right now, whenever we walk through the pressure plates, it just closes the door. Uh, what the heck are you doing? Uh, okay, hold on. I think what we need to do is remove all of this redstone over here, and let's just have some redstone go underneath these pressure plates over here. Uh, you guys will see what this is gonna turn into in a sec. And I'm pretty sure what we can do here is just have some redstone underneath the pressure plates like that. And okay, this should power it when I walk over it. Okay, perfect. And then let me go ahead and grab some redstone torches, and I'm pretty sure I can just put those right over here like this. There we go. So, uh, I just need to put another redstone torch right over here. And wait, what are you doing down here? Why is there redstone down here? I'm like, get on up. The piston door's underneath, so it looks better. And, uh, no, no, no. They don't need to be linked up, first of all. And uh, also, we need to build obsidian around this redstone down here because we do not want this to blow up. But but here, guys, this is what we need to do. We need to go ahead and put some redstone like this connected to the redstone torches like that. And now, whenever we walk over the pressure plates, it should open the door. Boom. Now I need to do the same on this side. Guys, what if the redstone blows up? Won't that open the doors and let the blast in? And Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, well, uh, we need to find a solution for how to defend the redstone against the blast. Hmm. Uh, maybe some thicker walls will help. Can we put water on the walls? And Oh, yeah, wait a minute. What if we combine those two ideas? What if we have thicker walls and also have water in between them around here? So here, let's just go ahead and have like uh, some walls like this going all the way around the redstone. And here, we should probably break these dispensers up here since there's going to be water here like permanently. And let's just have thicker walls around this entire area and pretty much we can fill them up with water on the inside. This is so smart, guys. Yeah, hold Hopefully this stops the blast from blowing up the redstone. But here, let's go ahead and cover all of this up with some more obsidian. And now we can go ahead and fill it up with some water. And all right, here we go. Let's see, is this gonna work? All right, so here, let's just go ahead and finish covering up this area. And uh, oh wait, I think some water was spilling. Okay, there we go. That looks good. And oh, we don't have a way to get in yet. Uh, that, that's fine. All right, here, uh, everyone come in. Uh, we can add like an actual way to get in later. But anyways, now that we're inside, everything looks like it's working. So that's good. So uh, baby Pomni, you wanna, you know, go outside and uh, do your thing again? I wanna blow it up. Yeah. All right, all right, go for it. Here we go. This is the moment of truth. Let's see. Is it gonna survive? TNT here and here, and I'm gonna light it all up. And all right, all right, here we go. Oh, gosh, wait. I just saw it light. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. Hopefully, it survives. And oh, 
my gosh. Did you guys see that? That worked perfectly. Oh, my God. Thank goodness. Uh, the door worked, but uh, look, I could get in from the bottom here. And, oh, uh, yeah, we should probably defend, like, this area of the chunk as well. Okay, here, let's go ahead and put some more obsidian around this entire area down here. And wait, we can just use commands for this. Let me go ahead and grab a wooden axe really quick. Well, why don't we just make this entire bottom chunk made out of obsidian? And Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking here. We can just select this and then do slash slash walls obsidian. Boom. Oh, I spelled obsidian wrong. There we go. I still spelled it wrong. And there we go. I got it. And whoa, check it out. That looks nice. All right. Uh, now all we need to do is add a way to actually like get in through the door. Yeah, we can just repeat the same thing on the outside. And yeah, here, let's just go ahead and put down these pressure plates right over here. And oh, uh, the one problem with this method is that the pressure plates are going to blow up uh, if anything blows up. Actually, wait, is there such thing as reinforced pressure plates? Oh, yeah, there is. It's called reinforced stone pressure plate right here. Oh, yeah. Wait, I just found them as well. Okay, well, uh, I guess we can just use some of those. We got to have all this redstone stuff be reinforced. So there we go. We got these reinforced stone pressure plates looking good. And wait, uh, hold on. Why is the door not opening? when we go over them. What? Oh, there we go. Now it works. What? Did something break? Uh, did you break something? Uh, I don't know. That was weird. It looks like it's working now, though. So here, let's just go ahead and repeat the same redstone thing on the outside right over here. And oh, wait, hold on. We got to change up the design a little bit so that we can have both of these things work. We just need to put a repeater over there like that. And then we got to do the same over here on this side. And wait, hold on. You guys can copy what I'm doing on this side over on that side over there. Uh, I could try, but I don't know nothing about redstone. And uh, just follow along. It should be pretty simple. All we got to do is just hook up all of this stuff together. Together. So like this, wait, is this going to work? Oh, no, that's not going to work. What about that? Oh, there we go. That works. And then we just got to bring that like that. And okay, I think this side should be working. So now I can open it from the outside just like Wait, what? Why isn't it working? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to test this thing really quick. What? This special plate isn't working. Let me go ahead and place another one down. And oh, there we go. Now it works. Okay, check it out. Look, now we can open the door from both the inside and the outside. Uh, or at least this right side, the left side is still kind of broken. Wait, how's the left side coming along, guys? I don't know how to do redstone. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, me too. I don't know anything about redstone. And okay, it's fine. I guess I can do it. Uh, here, let's just go ahead and connect all of this together like this. And let me put this block right over here. And okay, now this should work, I think. Let me go ahead and try this out and check it out. The doors both opened up. And now can we open them both from the inside as well? Let's go. Perfect. Wait, what the heck? These pressure plates don't work for us. We're too light. And wait, what are you guys too light? Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. You guys are pretty short. Hey, did you call me light mail, miss? You whoa, whoa, you whoa, whoa, whoa. Like it's just a joke. Hey, calm down. Ah! You should have called Bomb He's short and makes him angry. And, yo, yo, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, dude. All right, come on. We can talk about this. Yeah, y'all shouldn't fight, guys. Yeah, you better back off or I'll get the mob on you. And what in the world? Okay, okay, guys. Uh, let's just chill out. Uh, okay, how can we fix this problem? It's working for me. It's just not working for you guys. Well, maybe a different pressure plate. Let's see if this works. And oh, wait, are those reinforced wood pressure plates? Does that work? Yeah, I think it works. And oh, perfect. Let's go. All right. But anyways, now let's go ahead and cover up all of this redstone that we just made down over here to make sure that none of this blows up. So boom, there we go. Let's cover all of this up just like that. And okay, there we go. Now it all should be ready. Wait, uh, is the door working? And okay, perfect. The door still works. Let's go. But we got to do the double layered thing over here. Remember? So the redstone don't blow up. And oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right here. Let's go ahead and grab some water and do the double layer thing down here as well. All right, uh, I'm just gonna put water in here then. And all right, sounds good. Let's fill all of this up with water. And okay, that should be good. Guys, I'm hungry. And wait, what, you're hungry? I want food. Oh yeah, we should build a pizza oven to cook some mozzarella. And wait, what, mozzarella? Oh yeah, the cheese, you know, the best kind. And, uh, okay, okay, yeah, I guess we can build a kitchen. You know, we might be stuck here for a while, so food's definitely gonna be important. Once we get set to survival mode, because uh, Kane said he's gonna do that when the TNT blows up. But wait, where are we even gonna build it? Um, um, I suggest underground. I don't care. I just want to eat. Uh, wait, uh, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm just thinking. Of what? Things. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, yeah, I guess we can build it underground here. Let's go ahead and dig out a little area down here for a ladder. And yeah, this one looks good. Let's just go ahead and put it down right over here. Boom. And yeah, we can just dig like way down underground. Ooh, wait, guys, why don't we build it in this room over here? This could be a perfect spot. Yeah, this looks good. Um, Maybe we should reinforce it though. And yeah, yeah, you're right. We definitely need to set the walls to obsidian. So here, let me select all of these walls over here really quick, just like this. Boom. And let me run the command slash slash walls obsidian. Boom. There we go. Now it all should be reinforced. Uh, yeah. And let's change this floor because this is gross. And yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, here, I'll go ahead and put down the rest of these ladders over here and make this area look nice. We need to go ahead and put some obsidian down over here for extra reinforcements. And I'll change the roof as well. There we go. And all right, all right. Sounds good. This pizza area is looking nice. Nice doesn't look that good. Uh, we need another layer of walls in here to make the kitchen actually look nice. And oh, wait, like another layer of walls out of like normal blocks? Yeah, okay, that could work. Uh, yeah, let's see. What do we want to use for the kitchen? I don't know. Bomb me. You're the 
pizza expert you should choose. And yeah, wait, aren't you like a big pizza pro guy? Yeah, you should do it. Uh, yeah, let's see. What are we using? Uh, these blocks look nice. Uh, these blocks look nice. Red and yellow looks like pizza. And oh, I, I guess we can use these blocks. So uh, here, I guess let's go ahead and set the entire floor to these red blocks. Yeah, we can use commands just to make this a little bit easier. And oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Here, let's go ahead and just select this. And oh, it looks like you already got it. And whoa, okay, this is looking pretty sick. Nice. We've got the floor going. All right, what do we build the walls out of now? Yellow blocks, yellow blocks. And okay, okay, we can use the yellow blocks here. Let's just go ahead and put these all around the walls. This area is gonna look sick. All right, while you guys are doing that, I'm getting started on the pizza oven. Let's see, I'm gonna put it in this corner right here. And ooh, okay, you're gonna build a pizza oven. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, this pizza oven's gonna look so nice. And oh yeah, okay, that is looking nice. But wait a minute, where's that chimney even going to? Is that just going to the roof? Uh, aren't we gonna like, isn't that kind of dangerous? It's not a chimney loser. That's just how it's built. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a chimney. Real men love the smell of pizza fumes in the morning. Uh, are we gonna suffocate in smoke if we don't let the chimney out? And, yeah, exactly. No, nah, I've been breathing in pizza fumes my entire life and I'm fine. And uh, you do not look fine to me, but all right, I, I guess so. Hopefully, we don't stay here for too long. All right, well, anyways, the pizza oven's looking pretty nice. Look at that. That looks sick. But anyways, we should also have some tables and stuff. So here, let me go ahead and grab some. We can just use slabs for the tables. Or actually, what we could do is grab some carpets and some fences. And then we can also grab some stairs for the seats just like this. And all right, check it out. This area is going to look sick. We can just have a bunch of seats like this all over here. There's going to be like a whole dining pizza uh, restaurant area. Yay! Pizza! Yeah, we're only selling good pizza here. Here, let me just go ahead and build one more seat and table right over here. And boom, there we go. Now the food area is complete. But uh, wait, hold on. Can you make some pizza real quick? I'm kind of hungry. Can I make the pizza? Of course I can make the pizza. I thought you never was gonna ask. Pizza! Pizza! I want the sauce! All right, all right, we'll go for it here. I'm waiting. At, whoa, okay, that looks pretty delightful. Yeah, it's gonna be the best pizza you ever tasted in your life, ever. It's gonna be so scrum diddly umptious. And okay, okay, what's it gonna be ready? Oh, yeah, the sauce ready. I right, hear you go. And wait, wait, hold on. This looks a little bit burnt. Are you sure this is, like, good to eat? Oh, yes, fresh up the oven is fine. Uh, okay, well, uh, here, I guess let me go ahead and put it down on my table over here. Oh, wait, th these tables aren't functional. Hold on, I should probably replace these with slabs. Here, I guess let's just go ahead and put these over here, and let me put this pizza right over here. And Ooh, okay, that looks, uh, interesting. Are you sure it's not burnt? It's literally glowing orange. Nah, nah, it's fine here. I'll send you survival mode. You need to have a taste. And, wait, wait, you're gonna send me to survival? Uh, uh okay. I, I guess I'll take a bite of it. And here, let me try that. And, ah, wait, it literally let me on fire, bro. Yummy! Yeah, you gotta be careful. It's fresh out the oven. You gotta take it one bite at a time. What in the world? Dude, that pizza is way too hot. It's literally glowing and changing colors. There's lava inside of it. Oh, uh, guys. It's just a little spicy. Gotta let it cool down some, man. You can't just go straight in after it goes out the oven. What in the world? Okay, you know what? I'm going back into creative mode. That pizza is not safe to eat. That is not FDA approved. Uh, yeah, it is. My mother says she loves it. Yeah, it's so much fun. It burns. And oh, you really just ate the entire thing. Wow. Okay, you are still still on fire. Uh, maybe we should have like a little uh, water area in the corner just in case uh, the bomb these pizzas are too hot. Oh yeah, a drink station. That'd be nice. Uh, here, let's just grab some water bottles. My baby's burning alive. And wait, baby bomb here. Go, go over here. I made like a little pool. And No, it's not a drink station. It is like an area to cool off. Uh, what? No, that's stupid. I, hold on. I'm making something nice. Okay, what are you making over here? I'm making the drink station so people can come over here and get their drinks. I want a drink. I want a drink. What do you have? Oh, well, in this we got water. Uh, let's see. What else can we add? Ooh, what about some orange juice? That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Let me just add the orange juice and there we go. And, ooh, okay. That's looking pretty nice. Pretty nice. Wait, what are you going to add in the last barrel? All right. In this last one, I think uh, everybody wants a serving of this. There we go. Some pizza sauce. And, wait, people drink pizza sauce just like raw? Yeah, yeah. You're clearly on Italian. What in the world? All right. Well, that, anyways, I think that's enough time spent on the kitchen. Uh, guys, I, I think we kind of forgot that there's a bunch of TNT outside of our house. Uh, 8,000 metric tons to be specific. And, uh, guys, we should probably be worrying more about this than uh, what type of pizza sauce we're going to be drinking. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to say, guys. The TNT is going to blow up any time now. And, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Yeah, I don't know how much time we have left, but we got to build some more, like, actual defenses against the TNT. So, hmm, what can we build? What about an armor room? And Oh, wait, actually, an armor room could be useful. Armor is going to be really helpful because, uh, you know, it's going to, like, help us protect ourselves against the blast. So, wait, why don't we just have, like, automatic armor dispensers in each corner of the room? What? Armor dispensers? Nah, I'm going to just put mine on, like, a little stand, have a little guy on it. And, uh, what? You're going to put it on an armor stand? Dude, that's such a horrible idea. That's going to take you, like, 10 seconds to grab all the armor and put it on your body. Why don't we just have automatic dispensers? That's going to be much faster. Nah, I'm all right. Okay, well, I guess you can have your slow armor thingy over there. I'm going to have a fast one over here. What I got to do is grab a fence and put it right over here and then grab a pressure plate and then pretty much i can grab armor and put it inside of each one of these dispensers and whenever i go inside of the pressure plate it'll automatically put it on for me instantly but here let me choose my armor wait wait i want one of these 
And yeah, guys, we should all build one of these instead of building like a normal armor stand because that, that takes way too long. But yeah, we should definitely do one. But hmm, what type of armor should I put in mine? Can we have netherite armor? And oh yeah, netherite armor should be good since we know that it's blast proof from our testing over there. And ooh, guys, we should also enchant it with blast protection. Yeah, blast protection. That That's a good idea. And yeah, here, everyone, let's go ahead and grab an anvil. I'll put it down right over here. And oh, look, the anvil is levitating. How nice. Oh, you're underneath it. Look, I'm so strong. Ah! Uh, be careful. You don't want that thing to fall on you. And um, that's pretty funny. But anyways, here, let me go ahead and grab some blast protection books. And okay, here, blast protection for everyone. Take some of these. There you go. Uh, here's some for you, uh, Mr. Bomney. Yeah, it's Mr. Bomney to you. And whoa, what the, what in the world do you have over here? Uh, none of your business. Stay out of it. Is that a riot shield? Uh, yeah. What in the world? All right, well, anyways, here, let's go ahead and enchant all of our armor. You'll never be too safe nowadays. And, oh, uh, okay. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of my armor inside of my dispensers just like this. Boom. And guys, make sure to put multiple sets of armor inside of your dispensers. That way you can have backup sets. All right. Well, anyways, now that my armor dispenser is done, whenever I hop in over here, boom, it'll instantly give me all of my armor. That is so epic. And oh yeah, another good thing about having one of these instead of just a single armor stand is that I can fit uh, nine times more armor inside of this machine than you can on one armor stand. Uh, yeah, but mine looks better. Look at it. No one cares about looks, but anyways, are you guys done with your armor dispensers as well? Uh, almost. I'm done. And okay, okay. Uh, while you're doing yours, Pomni, up here, yeah, we should probably go ahead and make this area look a little bit nicer. We could add some more obsidian for defenses. All right, all right. Well, anyways, is everybody done with their armor dispensers? Yeah. Yep, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Perfect. Well, anyways, I've actually got a pretty good idea for what we should build next. What if we build the, like, bedrooms, like, individual rooms for each of us? Uh, yeah, yeah let's do that. Oh, I want to fill up mine with a bunch of cake. And yeah, pretty much we can do whatever we want inside of them. They're just going to be, like, the main living quarters, I guess. So here, let's go ahead and clear out an area over here, and we can just go ahead and have, like, a little tunnel to get to them. Oh, uh, we're getting closer to the TNT. And no, we're fine. We're still, like, super far away. It shouldn't do too much damage. Wait, wait a second. Instead of going outside to where the TNT is, why don't we just go down, you know, like, past the kitchen? Yeah, farther away. And oh, actually, yeah, I guess we can go down out here. Let me go ahead and get rid of this area over here. Ah, ah, and, baby! Oh, uh, I'm sorry. You should have been standing there. It's fine. I can fly. And, okay, well, anyway, sure. Let's go ahead and cover up this hole in the wall. Boom. And now let's go down over here to the kitchen again. And I guess we can just, like, keep digging down below this. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going down. Uh -oh, I want my room to be first. And, uh, okay, yeah, you can have your room first. I'm dipped on having my room second. Uh, I guess I'll have mine third. I want mine at the very bottom. Wait, why do you want it at the bottom? Uh, just be farther from the TNT, you know? And, oh, that's fair enough. All right, well, anyways, let me just go ahead and select one position over here really quick. And, guys, we can actually clear out this entire area super quickly. Let me go over here in the other corner and just select another position right over here as soon as I reach this corner. Oh, there we are. Let me go super deep down the chunk just like this. And here, let me go ahead and set all of this to air. Boom, there we go. And check it out, guys. This is the space for our living quarters area. Oh, this looks great. I'll get started on mine. And all right, sounds good. Uh, here, let me go ahead and clean up this area really quick. And okay, how big should each room be? I don't know, but we do need to make this a little bit more reinforced. There we go. And oh, yeah, yeah you're right. We can't forget about the obsidian. But uh, anyways, uh, I guess baby Pommy's room, yours can be on the first floor, like over here. And how many blocks is this? One, two, three. Okay, yeah, we can just have each room be three blocks tall. Yay! My room's gonna be so tall. Let's go. All right, well, anyways, here, I'm gonna start working on my room as well now. Here, let me go ahead and select this position right over here. And let me go in the other corner as well and select another position over here. And all right, well, anyways, now that I've got my basic room done, it is time to start decorating. So here, let me grab some of this purple carpet and I'm just gonna place this all over the floor. Uh, all right, I'm working on my walls right now. Ooh, okay, and wait a minute. That gives me a bang right here. I'm gonna make my walls out of some glass. Except, wait, normal glass is just gonna, like, shatter when the TNT explodes. Oh, wait, what about some reinforced glass. That could be really good. Ooh, glass. I want to do glass too. And yeah, glass is going to look sick. And make sure you use reinforced glass though because uh, normal glass is probably going to like not survive. Yeah. Gl are you sure about uh, using glass, guys? And yeah, it should be fine as long as it's reinforced. We just got to place it down like this and yeah, check it out. It looks sick. I'm going to use a bunch of stained glass. Ooh, okay. That sounds pretty cool. I'm just using normal glass right now. But here, let me go ahead and set all of this to some glass. Boom. There we go. And looking good. My entire walls are made out of glass now. This actually looks super sick. But anyway, Anyways, now I need to finish putting all this purple carpet down to make this look nice. Let me just go ahead and slash slash stack this a few times. There we go. Boom. Looking good. And oh, wait. Now I need to actually add like a bed since it is supposed to be like a living quarters room. So let me go ahead and grab some purple bed. And ooh, also I should grab some slabs. And boom. There we go. Looking good. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What's that sound? It sounds like campfires or something. Hold on. I need to go check what's happening over here. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. It's my pizza place. Get out. What? The, uh, how do you have so many pizza ovens here? Uh, because I got to worship the pizza. Now get out. And, oh my gosh. All right. Fine, fine, fine. Wow, your bedroom looks very different from mine. Yeah, pizza is love, pizza is life. And 
Oh, uh, okay, but anyways, hmm, what else can I add to my bedroom? I'm putting flowers in mine. And ooh, flowers are a good idea. That way the flowers can like breathe in the CO2 from the air and then like spit out oxygen. That's a good idea. Well, let me know if you need extra CO2. My pizza oven's gonna hook them up. And, oh yeah, right, because you literally breathe pizza fumes for the sport of it. Yeah, I do this competitively. And, wait, what in the world is that? What? Uh, this is a uh, pizza? That is not pizza, dude. What is that? I sleep with it. It makes me feel safe. <laughs> what in the Okay, well, uh, it's the gabagool. And, uh, uh, in the world, okay, hopefully the TNT doesn't blow that up or anything. It's the gabagool. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go back to my bedroom. Well, anyways, honestly, I don't really know what else to add to my bedroom, so I guess I'll call this done. But hmm, what else should we build? Wait, uh, guys, we forgot about the Elytra platform. And oh yeah, right, the Elytra platform. Oh gosh, we were gonna build that, but we completely forgot. Uh, we should probably do that now. And, and whoa, wait, is this your room, baby Pomni? Yes, this is my room. And whoa, what? You have like an entire roller coaster in here? Oh, I got. Bored. You guys were taking so long to build your stuff. Whoa, okay, this area actually does look pretty sick, but guys, I, I think we should probably build that electric platform. That's gonna be like our getaway uh, if we actually need one. Well, yeah, we definitely need to finish that up. And yeah, here, everyone head outside. We were gonna build it right over here, but then we just forgot. So uh, here, I guess let's go ahead and grab some fences really quick, and we can just go ahead and let's expand this platform a little bit just like this. Uh, I don't know, guys. Elytra sound pretty dangerous. I don't even know if Baby Pomni can fly. I can figure it out. And hmm, actually, that is a good point. Electras might be a little bit dangerous like we don't even have any like protection well what about something that we can steer and they can just you know sit in the back end and wait, wait what are you talking about oh no like a car or like a fly car or something uh, wait a fly car and <gasps> wait guys what if we build an airship that could be safe a fly car i could have a fly car and uh wait wait wait, wait. What, what is this is that a ramp in a car i, I don't think this is what we what in the world <laughs> what the heck <laughs> she just went flying are you okay <laughs> And, oh, you respawned, but what in the world? I don't think that's what we meant by, uh, airship. Oh, my God. What do you mean? I got a lot of air in that ship. And, uh, yeah, but, like, you didn't really sustain it. Yeah, we should build something with, like, some propellers or something. And, yeah, 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 guys, we need something that can actually, like, sustain flight rather than, uh, go up and then, uh, instantly go down. So, what if we go ahead and, like, build a proper airship? Let's go ahead and grab some of these parts. So, I think we need to grab a captain's chair and, ooh, we're gonna need some of these redstone engines. And actually, wait, why don't we grab an ultimate engine? It's made out of obsidian it looks like so that's probably like reinforced oh, yeah we also need to make this out of reinforced blocks so it doesn't blow up and wait a minute can we build an airship out of obsidian okay hold on uh, speaking about an airship first we should build like a little platform for the airship to actually be able to like take off so why don't we build it around the side of the house over here wait i've got an idea instead of building the ship out of the you know the, the regular obsidian like we've have been doing what about this reinforced obsidian and, whoa what the reinforced obsidian okay that could work reinforced I, I like the sound of that all right yeah let's go with it but here let's go ahead and start building like the actual land and takeoff platform for the airship first. So let's go ahead and build a little platform right over here out of some obsidian. And actually, let's go ahead and grab some concrete so that we can make this area look a bit nicer. And Ooh. wait, guys, we can use reinforced concrete. Ooh, can it be yellow? Yep, here's what we're gonna do. We can go ahead and put a bunch of these gray concretes here, and then we can put some yellow concrete in the middle like this to make it look like a runway. Yay! Well, wait, why are you taking so long? Can we just use, uh, you know, our commands with this? And Oh, yeah, yeah, right, we can use commands. Uh, let's go ahead and select all of this over here, and then I'm pretty sure we just have to go ahead and... Oh, you got it. There we go. Let's Let's go. Now we've got a long runway. Now we gotta actually build the airship. Oh, yeah, this airship better be super sick and gabagool. What does that even mean? Gabagool. Don't ask him. He won't tell you. Hey, you're using the wrong block. And Oh, yeah, right. We're using reinforced obsidian. Okay, well, here. Let's go ahead and build the platform for the airship first. And here, we should also make like a little staircase so that we can like actually get on top of it. So let's go ahead and put that right over here. Looking good. There we go. And Oh, wait. Actually, hold on. We should probably break this block. We don't want it to be connected to the staircase. That would probably not be good. And here, now let's just go ahead and extend this reinforced obsidian. Oh, yeah, let's just use commands for that too. Let's just select this and then we can stack it. Boom. There we go. And boom. There we go. That's looking good. Don't you think that's going to be a little too heavy to fly? Yeah, we should be fine. We just got to, you know, use the gabagool. And uh, dude, stop. What does that word even mean? But uh, yeah, I think we should be fine. I mean, we got some of these ultimate engines right over here and these things look pretty wild and wacky. So uh, hopefully this will be enough to propel the ship. So uh, here, I guess we can go ahead and put two of these right over here in the back, just like this. Oh, wait, I need to put them down over here. Uh, so we can have one on that side and then one over here on this side. And ooh, wait, are you guys making walls out of reinforced glass. That's a cool idea. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's gonna look sick and very gabagool. Well, I don't know. Okay, I still don't know what that means, but anyways, now we can put these levers over here to power our engines. Boom, check it out. Now they are spinning and what we can do next is go ahead and put some of these captain seats up here in the front. So we can have a few captain seats over there and wait, there's four of us, so uh, I guess we can have some passenger seats as well. In fact, let's have one captain seat over there in the front and we can have three passenger seats over here in the back. Dibs on being the one who's driving. Uh, okay, fine. I wanted to drive. And, uh, what? No, but I put the seats down so I get to drive. No fear. We have to take 
Ching! And okay, okay, well, we'll see about that. But anyways, we should probably cover up this roof and all that next. So let's go ahead and just extend this wall a little bit. Uh, we also need a door to like, you know, get in. And yeah, that sounds like a good idea. We should probably put the door over there. But anyways, now let's go ahead and just fill in this roof just like this. And then the airship should be done. And then we can take it for a test to see if like it's actually airworthy. And boom, there we go. It is very gabagool now. And there we go. That is looking sick. All right, well, here, guys, what are we waiting for? Let's hop in the airship and put this thing to the test. Let's see if we can actually even even take off with all of this to reinforce obsidian. Okay, let's go! And, uh, whoa, whoa, wait, uh, is, is the ship on right now? Wait, who's flying? Wee! And, uh, wait, baby, baby, what are you doing? I, I said I was gonna fly! Wee! Where's Bomney? And, and the Bomney, get in! Close the door, close the door! Oh my god! I'm trying! Oh. Quick, 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 everyone, get in a passenger seat! Oh my gosh, uh, baby, Bomney, are you sure you still want to drive? Whoa, 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 watch out, watch out, you almost went in the TNT. Oh. I think I'm gonna be sick. We we dancing! Oh my gosh. Uh, baby, tell me, why don't you go ahead and just land the ship on the landing platform really quick? And what in the world is going on? Oh gosh, oh gosh, we're going down. Okay, I'm taking control. I'm taking control. Okay, there we go. I think we're good now. I think we're flying up. I'm a little dizzy, guys. Ah! And oh my gosh. All right, here, let me go ahead and land the ship again. That was uh, pretty interesting. That was fun. Can I do it again? And, uh, no, uh, let's uh, not do that again ever. Here, let me just go ahead and park the ship over here. And Wait a minute. Where did Bomney end up? I'm in the seat, but I was left behind. Mind that art. And, oh gosh. All right. Well, like here, let me just go ahead and disable the ship. And there we go. Okay. Uh, it wasn't the best landing job, but you know, it'll get the job done. Maybe we should build a little ladder over here. And here, let me just go ahead and put down these ladders right over here. And we can also have like a little platform over here to actually hop on the ship. Boom. There we go. Ah, I see you've used your time very well building an airship for some reason. And uh, yeah. Uh, wait, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, is the TNT exploding? Oh, no, no, no. It's not exploding right now, but I just came to tell you that it's going to explode in one minute. And, uh, so uh, you guys wait, better be ready. Did you just uh, oh gosh, oh gosh, and everyone to the house! Oh my god! Oh, no. oh yeah, before I forget, let me set you to survival and, mode. Oh gosh, uh, guys, he just set us to survival mode. Wait, I'm getting hungry! Uh, guys, to the kitchen, I need to get some food! <laughs> Uh, before I go to the kitchen, I'm getting my armor so I don't, you know, blow up. And, uh, wait, is there any, like, actual edible food in here, or is this the only thing we've got? How is it still hot after all this time? What do you mean? This is more than edible, but, uh, here, I got some normal food for you if you actually want it. And, oh, you have steak! Okay, perfect, thank you very much. Let me quickly eat this so I can heal up, but, guys, quick to the armor area! We gotta grab all our stuff! I've already got all my armor on. And, oh, wait, I've had my armor on as well, but anyways, guys, quick, we gotta activate the water! Come on, come on, let's see, is the water activated right now? Uh, wait, someone flick the lever one more time, I don't think it turned on. Okay, I'll do it. And, okay, okay. Okay, there we go. It turned on it. Oh, gosh. Uh, guys, the TNT is looking very scary. Get inside. Come on. Oh. And, oh, gosh. Yeah, quick, quick, quick. Close the door. And uh, wait, where should we go now? I'm going to my room. I'm going to the pizza. I'm going to my bedroom. I think it was the safest place. And Okay, yeah, I'm going to my bedroom as well. And oh, gosh. Well, I guess now we just wait. Hopefully our house can survive. Oh, I see you guys made your own bedrooms. I don't think that will help against TNT. That'll be exploding very shortly. And, oh, gosh. I, guys, can you just pull up to my bedroom? He said the TNT is going to explode soon. Why is Kane so scary? I'm just going to sit here and watch my gabagool. And oh gosh, oh gosh. Well, uh, guys, we better get prepared. Oh no. Uh, I'm scared. I'm going upstairs where it's safe. All right, everyone. I hope you're ready for an adventure. And, oh gosh, oh gosh. Uh, guys, I think it's happening. Get ready. Here oh, we no. go. Ah! Stop. And, wait, uh, guys, that actually did like no damage. Wait, was that it? Oh, wait, my pizza ovens are all still alive. Wait, is that all of it? Oh no, no, no. That was just the start. The real adventure is beginning. And uh, wait, uh, guys, what's that sound? Wait, yeah, I, I think there's more explosions happening. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Ah! Oh, my pizza ovens are getting destroyed. And, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I, guys, I think we should head to the top floor. Go, go, go. Oh, gosh. Wait, there's literally explosions everywhere. What happened to the ladders here? Uh, uh, broke. We're stuck here. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right, guys. The TNT is about to reach the full detonation velocity. I hope you're and, ready. Oh, gosh. Is everyone ready? Everyone got their armor on? Yeah, ready as there will be. I'm scared. And, oh, my gosh. What in the world? Quick, land in the water. And, oh, uh, I did not land in the water. Well, I guess our house wasn't strong enough. Oh, uh, well, at least the airship survived. And, oh, yeah, it no, did. It didn't. And, oh, he just blew oh, it no, up. Oh, no, our airship. No. That is not Gabagool. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.